By the mid-1980s, personal computers were spreading fast, and MS-DOS was everywhere. But there was a problem MS-DOS was not easy for ordinary people. Typing endless commands on a blank screen intimidated the average user. If computers were truly going to reach every home, they needed to become more user-friendly. Microsoft's answer was Windows. Instead of typing commands, users could click icons, move a mouse, and navigate colorful windows on a screen. It was a bold step, inspired in part by graphical systems developed at Xerox and popularized by Apple's Macintosh. Bill Gates realized that the future of computing lay in making software accessible to everyone, not just programmers. The first version, Windows 1.0, launched in 1985. It was clunky, slow, and not an instant success. Critics laughed at it, and many thought it was a poor imitation of Apple. But Microsoft didn't give up. With each new release, they refined the system, adding more features, improving performance, and building partnerships with hardware makers. Their persistence paid off with Windows 3.0 in 1990. It was fast, stable, and practical, finally capturing the attention of businesses and households alike. Suddenly, computers weren't just for experts, they were for everyone. Windows made word processing, spreadsheets, and even games like Solitaire part of daily life. By the early 1990s, Windows had become the standard for personal computers worldwide. Millions of people learned to use a mouse, open files, and drag icons all, thanks to Microsoft's determination to make computing simple. The Windows era didn't just make Microsoft successfully, made it unstoppable. Bill Gates, once just a college dropout with a dream, was on his way to becoming the richest man in the world. You're watching Historical Story YT. Dan T. missed the next exciting chapter in Microsoft. This journey makes sure to subscribe now for more stories that change the world. Coming next, Part 4, The Office Empire. Microsoft's Secret Weapon.